Hey guys, it's Sam with the Blind Spot. So I don't know about you, but this drives me crazy. FaceTime. Double tap to open. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. Then double tap to activate. So when you land on something in voiceover, they tell you what it is, but then they give you some extra hints of other actions you can do. And that drives me crazy. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to turn that off. So you can turn off the hints on voiceover. And I recommend this. If, if you know how to use voiceover and you're really good with it, you don't need those hints, you can turn them off. They're so annoying. Now, I will say if you're learning voiceover and you still aren't 100% familiar with it, you might want to leave them on. Uh, they do give good information if you need it. But if you don't need it, you can shut it off. So here's how you do it. So you want to go into your settings. Settings. And you want to go into Selected. general. General button. Selected. General. Accessibility. And you want to go button. into accessibility. Selected. Settings. Vision. Heading. And then it's in voiceover. Voiceover. On. Selected. Settings. Voiceover. And then the setting you want to go into is verbosity. So it's somewhere down around here. Verbosity. Verbosity. Button. Selected. Settings. Speak hints. On. S speak hints. That's what we want to turn off. It's set uh, to on by default, so double tap. Off. And now it's turned off. So now if I tap on something. Wallpaper. Button. Siri. Button. It just tells me what it is and doesn't give me all that other <laughs> information that I don't necessarily need. So there you go, guys. That is how to turn off the hints in voiceover. Real quick tip for you. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time. Touch ID and battery.